So just what is the Hyundai Santa Cruz? Is it a truck? Is it a car? Can it really take the place of either one? Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive MT. So I'm out here cruising around in my loner car, which this is a Mercedes. It is a car, no question about it. And I got to thinking about the Hyundai Santa Cruz. You know, I got one a little while back and I'm thinking, what is it really? Is it a car? Is it a truck? Because I'm missing it a little bit, to be honest with you. Um, and the answer is, I don't really think it's either. It's kind of a blend of three different vehicles. You know, it's a truck, which is what I guess I consider it to be in the end, because it has the bed. It can do some towing. It has some payload capacity. That, in my opinion, makes it a truck, because that's what a truck is, really. Something that you can throw stuff in the back, something you can tow with, and something that you can haul, obviously, more weight than you can in a car or even an SUV. So, is it a car? Yeah, no, I, I don't really think it's a car, but it has car features. You know, it kind of drives like a car, really more like an SUV, probably. To compare it to a car is probably not really fair. So we're going to say no, it's it's not really a car in any fashion. However, an SUV. Uh, this is where it gets kind of gray. You know, a lot of people will say that that's all it is. It's an SUV with a bed. It's a Santa Fe with a bed. And I suppose there is some validity in that uh, because it really is a Santa Fe with a bed. Uh, about four inches shorter on the inside. And it's too bad they had to do that because the Santa Cruz really is shortchanged in the rear. It's not comfortable, it's too confining, if you will. They should have uh, probably made it a little bit longer. That would have made the bed a little bit longer. Of course, it would have driven up the price, but you would have had enough room in the back to make it comfortable for those back seat passengers. Um, so yeah, I think it's probably somewhere in between, ultimately, a truck and an SUV, a very capable SUV, because with the bed and that optional tonneau cover, which I love, by the way, that hard tonneau cover that you can get with it, I think should be a, a standard feature. It just makes it more capable, gives you more options with that rear, and uh, I think it definitely should be there on every one. Now I know you can go with aftermarkets. I've had aftermarkets. Matter of fact, I have an aftermarket on the Jeep Gladiator right now, and it's that vinyl kind, but it's just not the same thing. It doesn't give you that same security, and uh, it doesn't look quite as good, uh, if I'm being honest. Um, as far as driving it, I mentioned earlier, yeah, it, it doesn't drive like a truck at all. I wouldn't say in any fashion. You know, I've got a couple of the trucks, the Jeep Gladiator, the Toyota Tacoma, and it doesn't drive like either one of those. That's where it really probably is more like an SUV or even car. Nice and smooth, awesome acceleration, um, and of course, a lot of the technical tech stuff inside. Uh, you've got that screen for the gauge cluster, which I think is fantastic. I love that kind of stuff. And you have that big sweeping screen in the middle. And I don't have the biggest one. You can go with even a bigger one in the center console or cluster area. And I think that's great. Looks awesome, works fantastically. Never had any problems with it. I have heard of some people having some glitches with it, um, but I haven't had any issues in mine. Love the way that it is and uh, wouldn't hesitate to have it again. Uh, in any vehicle, to be honest. So I think it's pretty cool. Got myself kind of stuck in a, uh, a construction area here. It's backing up, I'm going nowhere. So we're kind of driving where we're not supposed to be. <laughs> Hopefully that's okay. All right, here we go. We're back on the road. Sorry for the interruption there. So ultimately, yes, in the end, is it a car? Is it a truck? No, it's an SUV truck. That's what it is. I highly recommend you check them out. If you're in the market, you're looking for something unique, something with some payload and towing capability, 
surely have a test drive in one. You'll be surprised at what it is. It is awesome. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, particularly if you have one. Is it a car? Is it a truck? Or is it an SUV slash truck? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about Toyota Tacomas, definitely a truck. And Rob Motive JT, all about Jeep Gladiators. Again, I think definitely a truck. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.